Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham and I'm at the 2020 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle and I'm speaking with Tony Rivera who's Managing Director of Azure Minerals. Now Tony, uh, the last time we spoke, or since the last time we spoke, uh, um, Azure has been quite busy over in Mexico. Uh, you are kicked off some trial mining um, and we'll find out how that's going at Opusura and then there's also plenty of exploration activity going on elsewhere. So let's um, kick off at Opusura. Now yep. of course I'm saying that incorrectly. No, actually you're saying it perfectly Wally. Bingo. Alright, so there's, uh, you've had some trial mining happening there yes. at the project. How's, it, how's everything gone there? Well things are coming along quite well at the moment. We, we did a uh, two month mining trial there where we mined 6,000 tonnes of about 25% combined zinc and lead. Uh, this is high grade massive sulphide mineralisation at surface. Um, once we got that, that 6,000 tonnes we stockpiled it on surface and since then we've been trial processing it through a nearby uh, flotation plant that's owned by a third party. And we've just been putting small batches through and, and fine tuning and tweaking and optimising the process to be able to produce a really high quality concentrate for sale. Um, and, and things have been going very well recently and it looks like we will have some products for sale sometime in the next month or so. Oh good, so everything's basically behaving itself, um, results coming through within expectation. Absolutely, it's, uh, certainly the mining was above expectations. We right. got, yeah. we got uh, probably 50% more tonnes at, at a 50% higher grade than what we were expecting. And uh, the processing, it, it floats into a bulk zinc and lead concentrate, it floats like a dream. And uh, we're getting a lot of interest uh, from the international metals trading companies to buy that product. Right, oh that's good to know. Alright, so we'll just wait and see what happens there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and of course, well, you know, things are uh, seem to be going down the right track there. Well, the, the complicating factor is the current metals prices and zinc and lead yeah. prices are quite yeah. low. Um, so that we need to factor that into account yeah. as well. But the fact that we can actually make a good product and people are wanting to buy the product is very positive yeah. for, for the project. Well, I mean, you're, you're really not Rollins and Crusoe in that sort of uh, scale, are you? Everybody's yeah. in that same boat. Yeah, not that Robinson Crusoe was in a boat, but anyway. So um, moving on from uh, the trial mining and the trial processing uh, over there, uh, exploration-wise, where are you? Well, our main exploration focus is on the gold and silver deposits that we've got at the Alacran project. And you may recall we had a joint venture partner, Tech Resources, That's in right. there, and they uh, they left the project in the middle of last year, and, and which was wonderful because they were focused on the gold, sorry, they were focused on the copper, whereas we're very much focused on gold and silver. And when we got the project back in August of last year, we, we jumped straight back in there, started work again, and we're currently drilling on uh, on the Mesa de Plata and Loma Bonita deposits, uh, with the intention of uh, being able to increase the already significant resources we've got there. Yeah. Um, you may recall that uh, Mesa de Plata's got about 27 and a half million ounces of silver at surface, very high grades, uh, sitting on the top of a hill, and Loma Bonita, which is only a, a couple of hundred metres away, virtually next door, uh, that's a mixture of gold and silver. Um, and we're currently drilling in that area at the moment and we put out some great results last week and we hopefully will have some more coming soon. Oh, terrific. So, I mean, yeah, so the, like the, the, JV, the JV with tech at the time, it was, uh, it was quite beneficial because there was a lot of money went into the ground through that. Yeah. And so, and as you were just saying, all the results you've got, the database that you've got there yep. and what's in the ground already. So um, you're hoping to improve on that with, in, with what's coming well, certainly up? Certainly, the, the work that we did uh, when we owned the project 100%, which was 2015-2016, uh, uh, we identified those silver and gold resources and just as a bit of background, Tech exercised the clawback right to come in. They spent two and a half years drilling for copper, we didn't find what they were looking for so they pulled out. We got the project back and we can now focus on that silver and the gold and the opportunities to, to identify and define some very large silver and gold mineralisation sitting at surface on the top of the hills in material that treats really well, it processes very well through all of our metallurgical test work. This is a is a, a really good looking silver and gold project. Yeah, great. And Mexico is a jurisdiction anyway. Um, it, people probably uh, aren't too familiar with uh, mining in Mexico, uh, as you, as we've always sort of um, said about it. You're very happy over there. It's a great jurisdiction to be a miner. Absolutely. It's well, Mexico is a first world destination for mining. It's a, it's a first world jurisdiction, tier one mining district. It's got some of the biggest copper and gold and silver mines in the world. Um, and the area where we're working in is, is very much a, uh, a mining district. And we see that as being a, a, a huge benefit, a huge bonus for us. Because of that large amount of mining activity that goes on, the local people, populations are 
the local governments and state and federal authorities, they all have a very strong uh, opinion of the positive nature of mining, the benefits that mining brings, and so we're in an area where mining is accepted and in, in fact encouraged. Right, and they also have a, a high regard for your company and your particular projects too, don't they? Well, that's true, and we have been there a long time now. We've been over over 12 years that we've been working in Mexico. Um, we've always uh, walked the walk, what we said we were going to do, yeah. uh, we have been able to do. Um, we've done good work in both technical sense, but also environmentally, socially, community-wise, um, and, and the governments and the, and the local people over there are, are very highly supportive of the zero minerals. All right, well, well, no doubt there's uh, going to be a lot of news flow come through in, in, in the upcoming months yes. from uh, Azure. We we'll look forward to uh, well, we we'll look forward to reading all that. We we'll look forward to hearing all that, and we look forward to uh, bringing it to everybody at the Resources Roadhouse. So, Tony Revere, it's great to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Molly. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Terrific. Thanks, mate. Okay, thank you. Bye.